Did you realize that you clicked the Crazy Kate vlog? Because you did. Okay, I look crazy because I just did that, um, like you flip your hair over and you look like George Washington or whatever in the pool. And now this is the falling out of it. But, have you heard? Casey Anthony is not guilty. How is this possible? Can you tell me right now how is this possible? And do you know that because of our justice system, she could walk right out of the courtroom right now because she's free to do anything that she wants. And standing on the steps of the court courthouse, she could scream, I killed her! I did it! And no one can actually bring her to court for killing her, ever. Even if she admits that she really did and she got away with it. No one could do anything about it. They could charge her for lying under oath or whatever, but they can't put her away for admitting that she did it after being considered not guilty. What has this world come to? Just to count four. We, the jury, find the defendant guilty of providing false information to a law enforcement officer as charged in the indictment. So say we all dated Orlando, Orange County, Florida, this 5th day of you July, want it? 2011, yeah. signed for person. As to the charge of providing false information to law enforcement officer, verdict just to count five. We, the jury, find the defendant guilty of providing false information to a law enforcement officer as charged in the indictment. There you hear it from the calendar court. Please? Not guilty on all of the substantial counts. The jury has rendered its verdict and we must live with it. I wish you could see what's going on behind me. People are just milling around outside the courthouse like, what? What? What happened? It's like they're all shell shot. They're just looking at each other. Just wandering around. Uh, we're waiting to go live to a defense presser, and I will never forget the look on the prosecution's face as the camera went to them after the not guilty was announced. Already, emails and phone calls are flying in saying, What's more shocking, this or the OJ Simpson not guilty? And I gotta tell you, I'm more stunned by this. Because in that case, the O.J. Simpson case, you had celebrity going for Simpson. You had the police kind of uh, subject to attack. Out to Natisha Lance joining us. What do you think, Natisha? Did you observe all the people outside the courthouse just kind of milling around stunned? My name is Dorothy Sims, and I am thankful for today's verdict. Of yeah. Well, I hope uh, that this is a lesson to those of you having indulged in media assassination for three years, bias and prejudice, and incompetent talking heads saying what would be and how to be. Uh, I'm disgusted by some of the lawyers that have done this, and uh, I can tell you that my colleagues from coast to coast and border to border have condemned this whole process of lawyers getting on television and talking about cases that they don't know a damn thing about and don't have the experience to back up their words or the law to do it. I want to start off by saying that um, while we're happy for Casey, uh, there are no winners in this case. Um, Kaylee has passed on far, far too soon. And what my driving force has been for the last three years has been always to make sure that there has been justice for Kaylee and Casey. Because Casey did not murder Kaylee. It's that simple. And today, our system of justice has not dishonored her memory by a false conviction. We have the greatest constitution in the world. Right, so I went to CVS and they gave me a free coupon for Hershey's Air Delight. Hershey's, if you want me to sponsor you, I would be willing. So, all right, we're gonna try this. It's aerated, so it looks weird. Okay, Matt first. What does it taste like? Too much good taste. Chocolate. It's weird. It looks weird. Well, it's gonna melt in your fingers. Forgot. 
How many days have I not forgot and I almost forgot? Ekliba, Fadam, Nakmal, Todas Lekahe, Schnitzel. Ekliba, Fadam, Nakmal, Todas Lekahe, Schnitzel. I didn't forget. I almost did, but I didn't. I hope that you guys noticed that my intro wasn't my intro with Let the Crazy Out or Who's that chick anymore? It was just the black screen with the white at the bottom that said the day, and then me saying something silly. Do you like that for now until I make my actual new intro of me? Can't tell you. But is that okay, or do you guys like, what the F did I just listen to? Let me know your opinion of it, because I'm actually curious. Alright, bye. And I went to iParty today, and me and Matt got these awesome cups. So cool. And this is so awesome. I'm gonna use it. And it says party time. And it's a lay. Floral lay. Party time. I don't know if I told you either. My aunt's having a luau and I'm stuck as a DJ. Hopefully I'll do good, because I don't know if I will. I have a lot of music. I turn that off. I have a lot of music. I DJ at my school on the radio and such, and I have helped my friends in the past that are DJs. So hopefully I can do it. I think that's all we no, there's something else in the bed. What else do we get? Oh. Oh, Matt was gonna get this. Okay. It's called Mystical Fire. And it says it's a unique unique way to enjoy a brilliant display of colorful flames on wood burning fires. Let's read the instructions so I don't really know what to do. For best results, simply toss one to three unopened packages on any indoor or outdoor wood burning fire. Do not cook over colored flames. Do not open package. So, I guess you just throw this whole bag into the fire and it makes it mystical. Pretty neat. Have any of you ever had something like that? I know there's those colorful logs. I don't think they really work because we tried. I don't know if you saw it, but it didn't really change color. And this is powder, so it might work. It's not in a bag or anything, like I just dropped it. But it's not a bag, it just feels like that bag with powder in it. So I don't know. We'll find out sometime soon.